I'm going to show you five German words that you did not know were German. Yes, you speak English, but you don't know those words were German. So even in language, they are engineering. <laughs> mad, mad, mad. Hello, my wonderful people. How are you all doing? Hope you're well. My name is Phoebe and you're most welcome to the Phoebe way on this channel. It's all about life in Germany. So we talk social issues, legal issues. We show vlogs, how lifestyle in Germany is. So if this is what you're looking for, don't go anywhere. Subscribe, activate the notification button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to know, what you'd like to see and share these videos as well. Okay. So let's get right into today's video. Today is the 3rd of October 2021, literally. I woke up this morning and I said, we're going to do this video today. We're coming back today. So today is the German Reunification Day, also known as Tag der Deutschen Einheit in German. And our way of commemorating this is that I am going to show you five German words that you did not know were German. Yes, you speak English, but you don't know those words with German. Let's do the words first, and after that, we'll talk about how this day is commemorated or celebrated in comparison with maybe Ghana or Nigeria because they had their independence lately as well. So let's get right into it. The number one word that you probably didn't know was German is kindergarten or kindergarten or kindergarten. So in Ghana, we say kindergarten. In America, they say kindergarten. And then in German, we say kindergarten. Kindergarten. Kind is child. Kinder, children. Garten, German. So the garden for children. Kindergarten. Right? As, I, as I've said this in other videos, that German is very precise and also um, exact. And also the words are basically put together. So if you understand the two different words, you actually understand a new word all the time. All you have to do is break the word into the main words, like the big word into the main smaller words, and you have the meaning of the word. That is so cool. And yeah, that is so cool. So even in language, they are engineering. <laughs> mad, mad, mad. And you see this go on in the words I'm going to give you. Word number two is schadenfreude. So Schade is like bad luck or something bad happening to somebody. Oh yeah, Schade is sweet. Something will happen to you be like, oh Schade, like what a pity. Freude is joy, happiness. Schaden Freude is basically deriving joy from other people's misfortunes. Should tell you a bit about German um, humor, right? <laughs> and there's even a saying that says Schaden Freude is the schönste Freude. Let me give you a little bit of a story or some let me just give you an example so when i first came to germany and i got to know about the word schadenfreude and the saying schadenfreude is the schönste freude if somebody i didn't like in my class got a bad grade or they tripped and fell i'll be like schadenfreude is the schönste freude <laughs> i was that petty but now i'm a mature big girl or a mature lady let me say that i'm a mature lady and life has taught me lessons and I know better than to derive joy from other people's misfortunes. So, Schadenfreude is nicht immer die schönste Freude, okay? Life will humble you. Word number three, Doppelgänger. Doppelgänger. So, Doppel is double and Doppelgänger is basically somebody who is a lookalike. And in German folklore and fiction, it has a connotation of, um, of somebody who has bad luck. So, your Doppelgänger will bring some bad luck to you. And even in real life, it's like that. So somebody who is your doppelganger could get into trouble with mistaken identity and all of that. So doppelganger is your lookalike and it's a German word. If you didn't know, I'm letting you know today. Word number four, right? Word number four should be Wanderlust. Wanderlust. It's also a German word. Wandern or Wander. Wandern, the verb means to hike, so to go out into nature, to the woods, to, you know, explore nature. And now it's basically you leaving your house and exploring the world, right? So, Wanderlust, and as I've said already, German is very precise. There's multiple words that describe the same thing. So, there's Heim, I mean, not Heim, Heim means you're missing home, but Fernweh means you're missing the distance, as in the far place away, right? So, yeah, you're missing the far place. So, Fernweh, there's Reiselust. So, I'm somebody who loves 
traveling so I'm always always having wanderlust so that is the suffering wanderlust basically so that is it wanderlust is also a German word or wanderlust is a German word that has been adopted into the English language word number five should be angst angst or angsty so angsty is Angst has to do with fear in German, so if somebody says they're angsty, you just know it has to do with anxiety, fear, that kind of, you know, that direction. So that is also a German word, and there's also another word that has been more um, adapted, like the word Brezel in German is um, pretzel in English, so Brezel is some a type of um, pastry or dough that Germans we eat with butter, butter and chives, um, we eat it with wurst. Um, yeah, basically that. So these are, this is also another German word, but it's a bit of a different form, right? So yeah, it has been changed a bit. So Rätsel, Pretzel, originally German. And let's talk about the commemoration. So, or the celebration of this day. So basically it's more of a thing that we would see on the news. we we'll watch how the politicians would, you know, have, um, have this event. They have hold their speeches and that's just about it. Oh, no, no. Lidl was giving, because yesterday I went um, grocery shopping, Lidl is giving 50, I know after you buy more than 50 euros, or if you buy or you exceed 50 euros with your um, shopping, they give you a bottle of sect or a box of chocolates. And currently, I'm not, <laughs> I have a lot of chocolate I've not eaten and I can't take um, alcohol as well. So Lidl was, that's probably the only thing I saw that looked like a celebration. <laughs> actually sad right but that's that's the little part but here in Germany you don't see that much of um, display of patriotism even when we win the World Cup within two weeks or within a few days all those flags come down life goes back to normal okay efficiency restored that's it but unlike Ghana, the 6th March is a big event. School kids are marching in the streets or in a parade at the Derba. The chiefs are out, the traditional chiefs are out. In the evening, there's party. It is a holiday. If the holiday should fall on a Saturday or a Sunday, it will be postponed to the next working day being the Monday. So that Monday is a holiday too. So basically, you can party throughout the weekend and sleep throughout the Monday or continue sleeping or continue partying and then you go to work on a Tuesday. But Germany, no. Today, Sunday, 3rd October 2021, <laughs> once you miss today, that's it. If you don't celebrate today, that's it. It's not coming back on Monday. So tomorrow at 8 a.m., I'm going to be at work, okay? So that is it. No extra celebration, at least not from the citizens. There's not much extra thing that goes on. Today is a Sunday anyway. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to go out brunching. And it's not because of the German Unification Day. It's because it's something you should do on Sunday. Just have quality time with the family. Do something different. And that is the German lifestyle. Nothing much. For example, Friday 1st of October was Nigerians um, Independence Day. And Nigerians in Germany... The community had parties to celebrate that day. Of course, they were bemoaning the government. They were bemoaning the state of the country. But still, they celebrated being Nigeria, um, being Nigerians, or being Nigerian citizens, or by playing their music. There was Suya, there was Starbia, there was Guinness. They did what Nigerians do, party, and they partied hard, okay? They just took that as an occasion, as, as a cause to party. But in Germany, we'll party, we'll party. It doesn't have anything to do with the Tag der Deutschen Einheit, especially since we don't have another day off. So guys, that is the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you'd like to see next. I have lots of content planned up, exploring German foods, exploring German cities, traveling around Germany, traveling outside Germany, from Germany and all of that so if this is the content you like to see if this is the content that you like to see let me know activate the notification button subscribe like comment and share guys and i'm back and i'm happy to be back it feels so great to be sitting in front of this camera talking to you guys have a productive week stay blessed please stay safe wear your mask you know just stay safe so you can come back and watch my video okay bis next time my lieben Ciao.